Step 3 of NC Simul is analyzing the result. Here when we click on the Analysis tab, we can see several different forms of measurements that we can perform. First, I'll switch to my table view. Here I'll take a thickness measurement of the wall of the part. Next, I can check the angle from this face to this face here. Next, I can use the comparison. With the color scale representation, we are able to compare our part model to our simulated model. Here in the corner, we have some gouge material. Here we have some surplus material left over from a mist machining process. Last, we have the cutting plane. Here, when I create a new plane, NC Simul allows me to cut the part at any level that I choose. This completes step three of NC Simul analyzing the result.